Happy Monday night. My name is Olivia London, and I'm here with my beautiful co-host. Tony Holmperm. And we are back with some diva time. We missed you guys. Yes. It's been so long. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my gosh. Welcome back to the show. We got another amazing show planned for you. As you see, we both are sitting here looking absolutely yes. delicious and stunning. Um, how, how, how have you been, Tony? Uh, let's catch up with you. Oh, my goodness, girl. I have been, I, you know, I've been so busy. Girl. I've been so busy. The things I, ha I have to tell you all about. You don't stop, oh. girl. <laughs> I'm unstoppable. <laughs> you guys, let's get right into it. It's time for the Diva News Network. Yes. <laughs> Oh my. So, what are we talking about first, well, girl? Well, since we've been gone, so much has happened uh, in the fashion world, in the drag community, in the universe. Like, girl, drag has been crazy here in New York. It's oh been my erupted. God. <laughs> oh my God. Wait, what happened? We went away and it was, it was, there was a vacuum. So all the other drag had to fill the void, I guess. Literally. Like, before we came back. Before what we came we back say? and exploded and, all yes. over you guys. <laughs> I know there was like something special that you were a part of. Well, 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 first we have to say, first we have we have to talk about drag con oh, right because that was huge was the biggest one of the biggest one of the biggest things that, done that, it. that weekend yes there there it is rupaul and and all the queens from drag con and for those of you who don't know what drag con is it's basically like going to a huge department store <laughs> with life-size drag queens walking yes. around <laughs> selling all kind of merchandise performing looking beautiful making you pay money to take a picture with them Literally, mm. like, um, but it's it's a great it's a great time. It's a great moment for the drag community. Yes, yes. Um, I know RuPaul was there. RuPaul was there. Ru I heard RuPaul was DJing. DJ for like two or three hours straight. Yes, just like, yes. Living her best life. Go ahead, RuPaul. <laughs> Let me tell. I didn't know you had that much fun in you, girl. Go uh, ahead. And a lot of our friends were there. Right. Um, I know Frida Cox, Ruby Monroe. Yes, like yes. a lot of people had been there. So like yes. So it was. Um, but it was a great time. And, and also there was Bushwig. I think we have. A, a little picture of that that took place in Brooklyn uh, that was uh, sort of like a counter programming to drag con because it's it's drag con is very yeah there's there's Bushwig and that was uh, Nina West performing I love and Nina West. drag uh, Bushwig is kind of like the the all indie version, I guess, of, of drag con. Right. I guess is the best way to, to describe it. It's a but you know, more. there's always a little bit of friendly competition. Well, of course, girl. In the drag community, like no of matter course. where you go, like someone's always ready to snatch someone's wig off. Yeah. Like even even we have friendly competition. Mm. <laughs> no, we. I love. I love her. So I'm I said, <laughs> this wig is coming off during commercial. No, break. no. Don't don't play with me. <laughs> Not my weave, girl. <laughs> <laughs> but of course, you know, the big thing here on Long Island was the Miss Fire Island pageant. Oh my god. Yes. One of my favorite drag events yes. ever. Yes. Now you you missed it this year, unfortunately. Can I talk to you guys for like two seconds, please? Two seconds. That's all you got. <laughs> <laughs> so I woke up, I was getting ready like the night before. I got ready, got all my stuff together. Uh Miss Ariel Sinclair is the host. I'm texting her like, yo, girl, I'll be there, blah, blah, blah. Like she's awesome. And th the next day I missed the ferry. And yeah. here's why. Somebody bought me like three cheeseburgers oh, the no. morning of, and I, I just couldn't take it. Like uh, it, it was, I was just too fulfilling, and I was just so happy and sad. As, I'm only joking. Oh. Um, unfortunately, I had some personal issues, but I, I, unfortunately, I did, I, I did miss the ferry end. But, but I think we have, we have some photos of when you did. Uh, Miss Fire Island last year. That is correct. Uh, if we maybe we could bring those up. But yeah, like I was gonna say, when I did do the competition. Oh no, uh, that's actually Zola Powell. I wish that was me. <laughs> There's Olivia. Um, that was from two years ago yeah. when you did. You entered the uh, performer of the year category. I did. Uh, I sang my favorite song, "Skyfall" by Adele. Yes. Being there was wow, the crowd was the best moment. Unfortunately, I didn't have my best friend Cesar Ochoa to do my makeup that day, so oh, as no. you see, I look like I got hit by two buses. But it's okay. Um, but no, yes. it was the most magical moment. I yes. literally was standing on the middle of a pool singing a song in front of hundreds of people and they all knew the song they all knew that it was from james bond and they all like i got a standing ovation 
station. So yes. it was amazing. And what about your experience? Well, you just... we have a little a little video clip. Maybe we could bring that up. <laughs> oh, let's let's check out this video clip, clip y'all. I was in the the Ms. Fire Island Elite category. So that was my first time entering. Well, Here we go. It is approximately 7:57. I have You look amazing by the way. Oh lord, no hair. My face, <laughs> all my makeup is on. I am ready to head out to Fire Island. So this is this you is getting ready. Fire yeah, I had did my day. face, was ready to go. I'll be entering the Ms. Fire Island category and I will be checking in throughout the day. So hopefully, hopefully this this mug holds up. Oh, it held so, up. All right. <laughs> be talking to you. Here's my walk. Oh, well, that wasn't me. <laughs> Here I come. In the dress I'm wearing right now. Yes. Give it up for Tony Holmes. That was inside the ice palace. And now here he's walking across the pool. That girl, when you walked across the pool, when you were, first of all, when you, was, it, was it scary at first? It was scary, but I was I know. swimming on it, and it was like, oh my yeah, it was like a big girl. So yeah. I'm like, I don't know if it's like, no. That's why I want to split this, because that's what I'm saying. I was scared. I was a little scared, but it was fine. Well, it is a problem. Oh, look at oh, that. It, uh, so you had an amazing experience. Amazing experience. I didn't, I didn't win, but it was a wonderful experience. And uh, maybe we can show again uh, uh, Zola Powell. She uh, won. There she is. She won. Congratulations, Miss Zola Powell. The big, the big title, Miss Fire Island. She is beautiful inside and out. And she's going to be our special guest on December 9th. We're going to have her here I heard, on Diva you. Time. I'm so excited so, for that show. Absolutely. Yes, she's can't so beautiful. Wait. She, it, she is. She really is. But more in the drag queen community. So mm -hmm. the drag, they're in fashion. They're running the world. Yes. And now one of them is trying to run for political office. Yes, right here in New York City. Uh, Marty Gould Cummings. She's, uh, she's running for uh, a seat on the New York City Council. And uh, you know, her platform is she she wants to uh, help uh, LGBTQ youth, right. um, senior LBGTQ people, and, and also she's uh, something very uh, uh, meaningful to her is to help um, trans women because, uh, as you know, they are like the it's most right vulnerable now in, America in the community. With, and, with you trans know, women. And, and Olivia and I, we've actually raised money for the Transgender Day of Remembrance. Absolutely. That was so, a great event. So, yes. no, honestly, I think this is a change in the world. People are starting to see that we need more representation in this world. We are human yes. beings. Actually, the other day, um, I was I was actually at the red light. And uh, let me tell you about my story, my drag queen story. I know real the quick. story. But the tell I, it, girl. <laughs> I was at a red light and I had happened to glance over and I saw a couple and they they were, you know, they looked like they were fighting to me. And I saw the, the girl, she slapped the guy in the face. I'm like, what is going on? So I'm nosy as hell. <laughs> so <laughs> I, Good pull, thing. I pull my big car over and I jump out of my car. I'm like, what's going on? And she goes, he's choking. And for a second, I was like, oh my God, like this guy is like dying. She's like, he hasn't been able to breathe. He's choking on something. And I jump into action, perform the Heimlich remo uh, maneuver on him. Mm -hmm. uh, he coughs up whatever he coughs up and it was like a, a great day but being in that experience like I'm literally in drag and people are looking at me like oh my god what's going on but I just saved this this man's life so that, that's terrific watch out for Olivia London I can do anything that's terrific more in news <laughs> well some speaking about you know saving people helping people something that was very important to you was wanting to help um, the people that were affected by uh, the hurricane right as we all know there were some issues going on uh, with uh, Hurricane Dorian and destroying things in the Bahamas, in the Bahamas and yes. things like that. Uh, so uh, you guys just reach out to your Red Cross, your local organizations that are supporting this cause and make sure you donate and you, you donate food, money, whatever you can because these people are really going through a really tough time and this is, you know, it's been a horrible storm and hopefully, you know, we can get them help faster than we did Puerto Rico. So, yes. Uh, but really quickly and more yes. exciting news, yes. Serena Williams. Uh, 
I love Your you, favorite. girl. But you got me going crazy. She lost, girl. <laughs> this is our lost. second U.S. Open final in a, in a row. And uh, sh this second this is the second time she's lost to someone who is Aww. 19, 20 years old. This girl, um, Bianca Andrelescu, I think that's how you say yes. her name. She's Bianca. an awesome, talented player. She mm -hmm. walked into this final uh, back in August. She walked into the final... Uh, Undefeated. Uh, she was 12 and 0 this year. Undefeated. She's beaten every top player. And then she faces the queen, Serena. And I'm like, Serena got this. She's like bodying everybody. No. Nope. And she nope. goes like, I lost. Five hundred dollars worth messing around with you, Serena Williams. I need my money back. <laughs> like, <laughs> I gotta pay my car note. I gotta buy food. Like, she's come not on. giving you that money back, girl. <laughs> she isn't. She isn't. But um, no, There's congratulations Bianca to Bianca. She, you're an yes. awesome athlete and a uh, great achievement and accomplishment, girl. Yes. Oh, girl, like yes. this, it's been crazy. It's it been, has. It's been like, like, uh, like in the media. Like you see what's going on with uh, mm -hmm. Kevin Hart. Even though we don't have a picture of this, we all know we, there's been like a lot of. Oh, crazy that was stuff. craziness. That was craziness. It's been like we we leave for a couple weeks and like it gets crazy out here in America. Like they missed us. They girl. need us. They need us. The they world. Need the divas. Where were the divas <laughs> when the world needed us the most? Oh. <laughs> we are here now, you guys. So don't leave. Stay tuned to Diva Time. We'll be back with some more fun and some very special guests. Stay tuned. <laughs>
Oh, I, I, I had my ginger ale, girl. You know, I, I have to have my ginger ale because I, because I sing, because I sing. But, but the, oh, it was wonderful, and, and the audience, oh my lord, they just loved us, girl. They did. Yes. They went crazy for it was, us. It was a really good time. Like, Absolutely. And the atmosphere was great. There were a lot of wealthy men there. So. God mm. yeah, damn. Welcome to the Hamptons. <laughs> I was little Kim. This yes. Was, yes. That was it I was for pink. Me. <laughs> I absolutely love that performance. I'm like, no, that she was did not wonderful. drop it like little kids. Like, she gave, it to she gave everything. And, <laughs> and Bella Noche <laughs> was uh, Christina Aguilera, oh and goodness. LaBelle yes. was Maya. Yes. 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 Lady LaBelle, she did a spool, she did a drop. She I, was, she I did caught a that on camera. I caught, I caught the, I caught the drop. Amazing. First of all, the drop, I caught amazing. it all. When both of them hit the floor like that at the same time, I thought somebody was shooting. I was like, <laughs> I'm like, what's going on? <laughs> oh We're in the Hamptons. We're in the Hamptons. You had to, you had to take yourself out of the hood. You know what? I was in the hood. The Hamptons. <laughs> it's too bougie. <laughs> it's too bougie for that. <laughs> so, Carmen, tell us a little bit more about what you do, what your organization does. Like, what's what's your purpose for fashion? So, Fashion for Purpose is basically a platform for fashionistas. It's for the youth. Uh, pretty much what we do is give them the ability to showcase their talent through designing, through photography, through makeup, you know, anything to do with the fashion world. We provide them a fashion show that we do twice a year and they showcase their talent. Absolutely. I remember um, your, what, I, I shouldn't say the first, but the first time I heard of you, my best friend, Cesar Ochoa. And I love mm -hmm. Cesar. I got to throw a marketing scheme Who's up in here. Yes. Who's done yes. your makeup? Yes. And he's done he's the done it twice. Yes. He's done it twice. <laughs> and he is absolutely amazing. 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 And <laughs> if you don't know, now you know. It's yes. at Glam by Cesar Ochoa. He is the greatest when yes, it comes to makeup. Is. And there Caesar are pictures up. of me with my makeup done. <laughs> <laughs> she thinks she cute. <laughs> she thinks she cute, she don't she? Yep, all She cute. on Cesar Ochoa's Glam uh, page. Yes, I so am. she done made it big. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. But also, speaking of Lady the Bell, Lady the Bell is watching. What's up, girl? Our friend Hi, Ashley J, Denise <laughs> Richards. Hey, Ashley. J Jason Price. What's up, guys? Thanks so How much, Joanna Cruz. Hi. <laughs> Thank you for watching. <laughs> but no, that that fashion show that I, I kind of I, I kind of saw a little bit because I was I right. Was, you came. To, I came to, with yeah, Caesar, Caesar. Mm -hmm. and I'm like, this is great. I'm I'm very happy to see this and a young a young black. Um, slash, you know, uh, ethnic woman getting her thing in and, and just spreading the sisterhood. Y'all know Tony Tony Holmperm is the blackest one on this couch. <laughs> just so y'all know, that's a sister over there, y'all. <laughs> uh, but I think it's time to have a little bit more fun with y'all, right, yes, Tony? We need Brett. to play a game with Brett. them, girl. We are ready. Love like games. What are we playing, Tony? Oh. I think we're going to play Hit, Hit It. Quit, Quit it, it or, or drag, drag it. it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So during this game, ladies, what we're going to do is we are going to present you a photo with three different photos attached to it. And what you're going to do is you're going to tell me and my girl Tony Holmperm mm -hmm. over here, <laughs> are you going to hit it? Are you going to quit it? Or are you going to drag it? As in turn that person into a drag, drag queen where they belong. <laughs> so, <laughs> are you guys up for the challenge? Definitely. Ready. Uh, All right. Ready. Let's ready. get this game started. Let's go. Oh. Ooh. 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 Jason Momoa. Uh, Pitbull. And Mike Tyson. Mike Tyson. Oh, my <laughs> Lord. So, Mike Tyson mm -hmm. definitely dragged yeah. it. Yeah. Yes. Pitbull G hit it. Oh, okay. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> No. And then I don't know who the other uh -uh. one is, so I'm quitting. That's the guy from Aquaman. 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 Oh, from Aquaman. Yeah. Oh, that's she's like, ooh, let me change this. Nah, no, 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 strike wait. that, reverse it. Girl, have you seen that? Jason, we're going to hit it. My no. lord. Pitbull, we can quit it. He, he, quit? Quit? Yeah. Yeah, we're going to quit it. I'm, you know, he's over. Girl, so I have to see No. Fire. All right. Who do we have? He's not on the radio anymore. You're up next. Who do we have next? I'm on satellite. Ooh, lady. Oh, So now we're going to to tap into the LGBT side of our lives. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right. Let's Beyonce's see. Beyonce's definitely a hit it. Yeah. yeah. Beyonce. Beyonce. Miley, I would drag it. <laughs> yes. I would drag Miley. Definitely. Yes. Yeah. Drag Miley. Miley would love it. And what about Lizzo? She need to be a drag queen. 
She really does. Yeah, can we drink two more black tea? I this is a tough one, one, girl. This is a tough one. I love Lizzo. Oh, I love Lizzo, too. So I quit, Lizzo. Lizzo? Yeah, oh. I would drag my... We love you, Lizzo, okay. but I'm yes. sorry you're getting quitting since... I would quit Beyonce. Really? Yeah, what? I would quit Beyonce. I think Lizzo is way fiercer. Okay, uh, just a quick disclaimer. Make sure you zoom this camera into my face. <laughs> the agency, we don't want no... Come <laughs> No, yeah, we, we don't, don't want no... no. No, no, I'm gonna be leaving out of here today. <laughs> <laughs> and a whole swarm of people. <laughs> Who do we have next? next? Ooh. So we got Ooh. Naomi. Is that Sofia Vergara? Yeah. Yes. And Taylor, Taylor Swift. Mm, you know how I feel I about her. I would drag Naomi. <laughs> I would yes. drag Naomi. Yeah. Why? Yes. You guys are in yeah. the fashion industry. You gotta explain yes. that one. Yeah, I would drag yeah. Naomi. Yeah. Drag Naomi. Because of her attitude. Sophia, I feel like yeah. she would be the hit. The hit. Yeah, because she's yeah. spicy. And she, yeah. she's a cancer, too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and quit Taylor Swift. Yeah, oh, yeah. I'm over. <laughs> She gotta go. Yeah, she gotta go. <laughs> <laughs> Who do we All have right. next? Oh. <laughs> Ooh. The Rock. Well, we already Whoa. see who the clown is. Clearly. <laughs> <laughs> oh my. Oh no, but, we're gonna uh, get demonetized. Oh, we're girl. gonna get demonetized. We're gonna be demonetized. Mm. I gonna... feel like he shouldn't be drag. He should just quit it. <laughs> yes. yes. To be honest. Uh huh. And, and I Dwayne would. The Rock. No, The Rock. I. Ooh, oh, this is girl. a situation. <laughs> so you're going to hit I Kevin Hart? Uh, no. Oh, I was about to no. say. No. I think Kevin Hart would be drag and I uh, would definitely yeah. need the rock. I would love right. to see Kevin Hart as a drag yeah. queen. Oh, yes. <laughs> yeah. You know I'll what I think it remind me of? Who? Chris Tucker on The Fifth Element. Yes. Oh, yes. 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 Like if they redid that movie. Yes. Yes. Yeah. With Kevin Hart. That. Yes, yes. Hey. I can see him be a Ruby <laughs> Rock. Absolutely. Who's up next? Ooh. Oh. Mm. So now we went to the other side of the political spectrum, see? With Cardi B. Cardi B. <laughs> yeah. Nas and Hillary Clinton. Who would we drag? Mm. I think I would drag Nicki Minaj because she's so animated already. Yeah. Isn't she yeah. already she dragged? Yeah. yeah. I thought she's already <laughs> dragged. She's animated. Right mm -hmm. She got not have to do anything. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, she she right have to do anything. <laughs> <laughs> oh, who do we have next? Mm, I already not. know my answer. Oh my Hands goodness! Down. I already, yeah, I, you know. Who are we talking about? Um, so I think it is uh, all a collective <laughs> that we are in agreement. Uh, yes, interest. we are. Yeah, we're gonna hit we, that we all day. We, one after yeah. another. Yeah. I see you, mother. Yeah. Yeah. Mark Anthony could be the drag. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, actually, no. I would no. drag Ashton I, I would, Kutcher. I would, yeah. I would drag Ashton Kutcher. Kutcher. Definitely. I would drag him okay. just so he, you know, I can kiss him on the cheek. <laughs> Treat him like my, my, my bitch. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> well, I can say bitch, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> it's a female dog. <laughs> it's a medical term. <laughs> Don't demonetize us, please. <laughs> <laughs> we ain't got time for that. <laughs> What's up next? Um, mm. Justin Timberlake. I, I don't like know. Justin. Who's that in the That's middle, That's Steph girl? Curry. I would drag Steph Curry. Ooh, that's my ma that's my baby. Yeah, you, I don't know. Although I don't bone, like why. '50s cockiness. Right. He's very handsome. He has an amazing body. I don't know. It's I just don't like his I think I would hit Justin. Can I just tell you, cancer men. Fifty Cent is a cancer. Cancer men are the worst to deal with. <laughs> I would have to agree with you on that. Right. I've been down that road. Right. You don't want to meet me as a man, okay? <laughs> <laughs> it's it's could be so a handful. funny you say that. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> now, the Sagittarius men, they're good. They're mm. good. So, <laughs> we've yes. got Tony home for a moment. Do you have, do you have time yeah. for another? Yes, we do. Yes, we do. Who's going to surprise? Oh, look at that. Tony home for a Get my pistol. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'ma just mind my business. <laughs> I don't want to get shot. Look, they're dead. afraid. <laughs> play, play the fifth. They're afraid. <laughs> <Play> the fifth. <laughs> so I'll oh. help them. They'll, they'll, they'll probably hit. No, they'll probably drag Taylor Swift. Yes. Mm -hmm. Hit Tony home perm and then kick that bitch Olivia London to the curb. <laughs> <laughs> That's what they all do. <laughs> Y'all know it. Oh my. <laughs> do we have any more? Because oh, this is I crazy. I love this game. Oh, 
He's trying not to put it up. You better put that you picture up. Put it up <laughs> there we go. Oh. Oh. So, <laughs> so we have our boss, our second boss, <laughs> and T.I. <laughs> Well, I'm going to hit T.I. I'm going to hit T.I. Oh, yeah. so now there's drama. Yeah, I'm going to hit T.I. I think we should drag Rudy. I, think, I like think that agree. we should drag Rudy. He would have fun I think with that. that. I agree. Rudy would actually be very good. I think he would enjoy he it. He would. Because yep. well, he's just a character. A character within himself. So yes. we drag him. It's just gonna be everything. Yeah. Oh, he's he's amazing. I think he'd love it. <laughs> <laughs> love it. He That's would. Be an upcoming he episode would. of Diva Time. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna make Rudy a diva. It's okay. <laughs> you guys can quit, Bobby, because I'm hitting that. Okay. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. That's my boss. Okay. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, oh. you know what, girl? Unfortunately, we've got to take a commercial break because you know. We have to give some airtime to our sponsors. We got to get paid. Y'all right. So, love. <laughs> so, Diva Time will be right back after these quick messages. So, stay tuned. We will be right back. Dropping gems from Keisha Christian. She's on a mission, sharing information, knowledge for soul, body and mind. Dropping gems, KeishaGems.com. KeishaGems.com. the net girl right isn't it a yeah. kiki tonight baby? it is we are here on strong island television it's diva time so i'm tony holmperm i'm here with my beautiful co-host olivia london i'm half beautiful today girl yes you're, you're, <laughs> girl you're always beautiful to me <laughs> and from you. fashion for purpose we have carmen and her friend leah well, so God. ladies tell me how did you two meet we oh, actually man. met through my best friend. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we met through my best friend like at least a good eight, nine years ago. Maybe longer than that. It's been longer than that because, yeah, it's been way longer. <laughs> I'm going to say about 12. Yeah, that sounds yeah. about right. And we just all kind of like clicked together and we've been rocking ever since. No like, new there's friends. There's a click. <laughs> no new like, friends. No new friends. Yeah, yeah. There's, there's an actual click. Like and the ones that you together. saw at the event in the Hamptons. Mm -hmm. like, <laughs> and a couple we roll, that were missing. We yeah. roll deep. Good. Yeah. That's we're why you don't see no other. We're the bougie squad. <laughs> <laughs> That's yes, why you don't see no other drag queens on the show. Okay. Yeah. Because yeah. Olivia and I, we have a clip. Yeah. <laughs> we are tied in a rubber band on a newspaper. Right. 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 I believe. 
believe it. <laughs> Tighter than the, than, the, than the band holding my wig on my head, girl. <laughs> so that means you're you're close enough that if she's not looking right when she step out, you're going to tell her and let her know. I always do. Immediately. Okay. Yeah, Immediately. That's a good friend. Because we we've, yeah. yes. some, we've seen some stuff. And we always yes. are like, how, they, they don't, don't have like any friends. friends. <laughs> how? Yes. Mm -mm. Yes. Oh, I've been there. <laughs> o Olivia <laughs> London, she will tell you, if if I see her coming coming out and there's some, something wrong, I'm like, I'm like, girl, girl, quick, quick. you got to fix this. you got to do that. And I always have her back. Good. That's a real friend. That's she a tells real me friend. to go outside and pick a switch. <laughs> <laughs> That is a real friend, <laughs> indeed. That's a no, true absolutely. friendship. But so are y'all. No, you could tell that even when Tony and I, we worked with y'all, like, the chemistry was amazing. Like, the whole event. Like, y'all are just, like, real cool people to be around. Yes. So I'm like, We just yes. like to have a good time. That's all we want to do. And stay in our lane. We don't hurt nobody. Yeah. <laughs> Fun. It's <laughs> all about fun. Life is it too is. short oh, not to enjoy it. Yeah, absolutely. It, it really is. Mm -hmm. I just want to see. Oh, people are what? Oh, our friend Overy Action. Hi, Overy. Thanks for watching. Always Overy. We, we love, love you, you. Overy. <laughs> We're going to be doing some more things with Overy very soon. Very soon. Yes. Actually, we, well, I guess we'll talk about. We'll that talk about that. We'll talk about that later. So, a, a love of fashion. I take it is very important to both of you. Yes. yes you have definitely. to be to the nines when you step out. Oh, we know it, right, girl? <laughs> Absolutely. Even if you go into the store, you have to be, you can't be looking crazy in the streets. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. <laughs> I'm tired of seeing bedroom slippers. So <laughs> <okay>. <laughs> <laughs> Pull your dress down, girl. <laughs> <laughs> Fashion for a purpose. <laughs> Mission statement. I'm tired of seeing bedroom slippers yes. Yes. Oh and leggings. It is for the bedroom. Don't go outside and then go back in the house. Just bring in all the germs. Everything. Just dirt everything. everything. Right, but you guys would agree that, like, you guys are in fashion. Uh, I'm sorry, ladies. I know people hate when I say that. Um, no, but you all are in fashion, so you guys can attest to the fact that certain people have their own fashion. Certain people oh, have yeah. their own looks. Yeah. So their own yeah. style. Yeah. Yes. And because in, in the drag community, like I'm a different person. Like I do my makeup differently. I dress a little bit differently. Mm -hmm. I don't wear padding and stuff like that, like the other girls. And then we have other girls who are just they do it their own style. Yes. So how would you guys speak to that someone who just does it their own style? Like keep doing it. Just keep doing it. Absolutely. And crazy. So you know what? I, I feel that um when you're a trendsetter, it's better than following a trend. Right. Yes. So be different. Absolutely. Be comfortable. Create your own lane. Create your own lane. Yeah, exactly. Absolutely. There's nothing wrong with being different. Just don't look a mess. Just don't be a hot <laughs> mess go. out in the street because I'm, I'm going to ask you who's your best friend. <laughs> right. <laughs> okay, your, your opinion on slides because... I'm sorry. Sorry, girl. I hate them. I hate <laughs> slides. I, love my slides. I hate them. Unless you're but, in the house. Yeah. I well, don't want to see them yeah. outside the house. I'm sorry. So I must say, I don't really wear slides unless it's in the house. But however, my son for my birthday bought me these really cute pride color Michael Kors slides. Oh, okay. Acceptable. And they're so right. Acceptable. trendy. <laughs> they're so trendy, and Michael I cannot Kors wait. Michael Kors is always trendy. Yes. Yeah. So I also, think if that they those, those will be, yeah, you know, <laughs> when you're, when you're stepping Nike out slides. like that. Yes. But if you're going to wear Girl, some Nike right ones yes. or some Puma <laughs> ones or, yeah, you know. Yeah, because um, I had them in the car after the show because my feet were burning. <laughs> and you jumped right yeah. I most certainly did. Uh, <laughs> see, some of them, they don't, they don't. I, like I say, I do things how I want to do it because I'm that. Let me stop. But I've been on stage and performed in slides before. <laughs> Have I Can not? You see them? And Alexis Flame read no. you for it, girl. Long yeah. well, my dress and was long enough, but like as I walked on stage, you can you, you can, can see, see them. it. <laughs> uh, uh, oh. Well, you know what, girl? Since we're talking about fashion and we just saw everything at DragCon, I came up with something special for. Bougie or busted. So Ooh, we're gonna I'm we're gonna I'm review some fashion <laughs> and play a little bougie <laughs> or busted. Oh god. Yes. Bougie or busted. Yeah. First of all, I know you just said that you came up with something special. Yes. But I know it's something shady. Well, well, of course, just a little bit, girl. <laughs> just a little bit. So we have some um, some images from DragCon of some of the, the more famous drag queens, and we're okay. going to decide, is it bougie or busted? So what do, what do we think of this mm. look? Ooh. 
It's a lot. It's a lot. It, it's unique. It's but unique. Exactly. <laughs> I, I was captivated can... by it. Mm. I, I, I don't know if I would, just that know if I would really consider quick. that bougie, though. Like, it's not busted, but I don't yeah. consider it bougie. That's what I'm... I feel like it's just from different. outer space. True. Just because you, you, you throw a lot of things on something and you, and you kind of make it crazy like that doesn't mean it's beautiful. Doesn't mean right. it's nice. So no. I would um I would toss that in the trash. Ooh. Oh, oh, oh. Busted. Talk about Shush. the shade. Busted. And I said what I said. <laughs> she said what she said. I'll go right to Macy's and pick me up a dress that's already made and looks normal. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what do we have next? Oh, bougie. This, bougie. Uh, the, yeah. <laughs> With the hair so all the way that bougie. That is bougie. Yes, but that, she looked fab. Definitely she bougie. She looked fabulous. Yes. Fabulous. Yes. Love I mean, the long, just, oh, look. That's a woman. If bougie. you saw her on the street, you probably would mistake her for a woman. For a woman. Absolutely. Absolutely. A hundred percent. That's a woman. I mean, yeah. yeah. She, she is, yes, beautiful. Beautiful. So, oh, Scarlet Envy. Bougie. bougie. Definitely bougie. <laughs> this is the bougiest <laughs> bougie you're ever going to be. Oh, have you met her, girl? <laughs> I've never met her, but you see her on TV, and you yes. like you already know she bougie. Oh, she yes. she walk around like I'm better than you, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. She screams bougie. I love her because she's beautiful and yeah. she she's, can own it. She's cute I as a get, boy too. I need to get my my wardrobe up to right. right. stay in the bougie <laughs> lane. Think we be cute and mm -hmm. stuff. Mm -hmm. Drag queens will have you taking <laughs> antidepressant, <laughs> antidepressant, girl. Because sometimes I'm like, I believe it. Because Bella, she thought I thought I was. I don't stand next to her in pictures. <laughs> I don't have time for it. <laughs> uh, ah, Aquaria. Uh, this I, was actually I, very sci-fi. I, I, I like it. Kind of a, I like it. It's different. It's yeah. I would she go set a trend on that. One. Yes, I, I like it. I like very it. Very editorial, I thought. Yes, yes. I would very use editorial. <laughs> But that's As that's Aquarius. Fuck you. Runway, editorial. Busted. Busted. Uh, Wait, who and that is face that? didn't help. I, I'm not even, the I'm face not even really sure who that is. You know what it is? It's um, Oh, it's Manila Luzon. That's right. Oh, okay. Definitely. Yes. Oh. <laughs> she, she was doing a very shade. camp look. Shade. Shade. There's a lot of shade going on. Look. Sorry, honey. She'd be called the shade room. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Monet Exchange. Well, mm. her face is giving her me bougie, giving... but her outfit is giving me busted. And that's usually <laughs> what happens with her. Oh. <laughs> and that, yeah. Honestly, I love her. Love Monet, yes. But a lot of times, her makeup is beat. Like, she looks good. But, like, the outfit. outfit is like, girl, what you wearing? Well, mm, when she yeah. was originally on RuPaul, they kind of read her for, for the outfits and told her that she needed to step up her game. Right. Mm. Didn't, didn't they? The, absolutely, they did. Yeah. And Which she did when she came when back, she back for All-Stars. All -Stars. And she I did. believe she won All-Stars. She tied with Trinity. Right, 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 right. The two, the two of them, they both won. It was a tie. Mm, it so, is, but, it is. But. Oh, bougie oh. team. Yes. Is that uh, like uh, No, that's, uh, that's uh, um, Monique Hart. Oh, she looks she amazing. Slayed, yeah. Doesn't she look amazing? Yes. An another one who, like, from her first being on Drag Race, because when she was first on, she was, like, sewing up all her outfits at, like, the last minute. And then when she came back for All Stars, she, like, upped her game, and she had everything was couture and beautiful yeah, garments. She gave it to and but sometimes yeah, she did. that's all people need. They need that one little read to be like, all right, you need to, you know what I mean? Right. Yeah. But uh, no, that's going to be me soon. Oh, you up. wait till November, Bougie. honey. Yes. Uh, <laughs> uh, Miss I'm Cracker. Not, now, I love Miss um, Cracker, but I just felt like it was. Go. Yeah, that's like the dress 19, is very plain. 50 right. hair. For you to be a drag queen that's selling merchandise to people and a brand. Dress is pretty I think she was going for a very Donna Reed kind of. I feel of like that hair gave the Marvelous Miss Maisie. Yes. Yes. Right? Yes. Oh, Mitch. I feel like Mitch. Oh, Mitch is mom. Yes. yes. Agreed. But it didn't. Mind you, that's my favorite didn't show. Really work, it. So. Didn't really work. Didn't really work. Oh, well. Sorry, oh, Miss Cracker. There's got to be some more. Oh, yes. Oh, bougie. 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 That, Is that plastic? I'm, that's I'm plastique just, tiara. She's I'm beautiful. sick of her body right beautiful. now. She's beyond. No, I'm telling you. Beautiful. She's like Bella, and I cannot deal with Bella either. Cause <laughs> her gum bodies is like it's crazy. Oh my goodness! I'm like, like why? Like, what happened here to Bella? We are like, she traps. We just walk around here like this. No, yeah, we're like, mm. I love like, Bella. No, I, I remember this. We're Bella. like, she's amazing. <laughs> yes. Bella's an awesome. Yes. We love oh, Bella. Oh yes, and she's beautiful. Yes, she is. <laughs> okay. On Gino and friends. On 
Busted in the blue. Yes. Mm -hmm. Bougie in the middle. Bougie in the okay. middle. I'm not. I'm feeling busted in the white. Too. I was gonna yeah. say busted in the white also. So busted, bougie, busted. Bust but you know what? The blue. I feel like the blue with the the outfit is fine. The hair is yeah. just too much. Too much. Like when you have an outfit like that, that's already like blended out. Extra. You don't need like that's just mm -hmm. way over the Less top. Is more. Girl, you think got no. big hair? No. 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 Oh, she's <laughs> reading me, girl. Oh, no. <laughs> Who's your bus and scene uh, is going crazy? I think it's going to be Y'all going to come back? Wigs is no. going to be everywhere. Oh, oh my God. No. But we're all good. But you know what? We've got to take another break for those sponsors. Yes. That's Ooh. just busted. Yes, busted. 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 So, busted, busted on the way yeah. out. Busted yeah. on the way out. What can we say? Shame. Stay right there. We'll be back with some more diva time. Yes, right after these messages. Stay tuned. <laughs> Okay, what about hip hop? Old school versus new school. Because oh, you know, yeah. her generation, they think they know stuff, but they don't know. Y'all don't know nothing about hip hop. Tell them about the struggle. Don't know. You don't know Biz Marquis in the Shirley Arena. <laughs> you know. You got you, what I need. You don't know Run no. DMC and Beastie Boys in Madison Square Garden. What? You don't know. You don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Putting your radio. Oh your box <laughs> up against the speaker <laughs> and hit and play and record at the same time. You got to take with commercials oh and hip hop. <laughs> Hi, and welcome back to Diva Time. My name is Olivia London, and I'm here with my beautiful co-host, Miss Tony Holmperm. Hello. And my two beautiful guests, Carmen Hello. and Leah. Hi. Yes, you guys sound like a, a girl group. Yeah. Carmen and Leah. Yeah. You'd be like, damn. <laughs> <"Ayo." laughs> <laughs> so, me and Tony are really enjoying our guests. You know what? Y'all could just take this show. Y'all, y'all, y'all do amazing. Well, thank, <laughs> you. thank you. You don't want us to do that because, boy, listen, mm -hmm. <laughs> everything come out the bag. Fashion for you know. Next thing you know, a uh, fashion show's going on. I'm like, mm -hmm. I got a show going on, y'all. Yes. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
<laughs> so, you guys have been so incredible uh, that me and Tony really need your help because yes. what happens is our viewers they watch the show and they love the show so much and they love what we do and they're like we need your help ladies we need you to help figure out our lives so this part okay. of the show uh we give a little bit of advice with uh uh, for our viewers. Uh, so let's get it started. Let's give them some advice with Dear Divas. I love music. All righty, y'all. So it's about that time. Um, so this week, we got a little bit of craziness going on. We got a viewer. Her name is Carol. And she's having an issue. But this issue, I don't think you guys have ever heard of. So, let me open up this letter. Oh, no, we might have to call the police. We might have to call the police after this, y'all. Oh, tell them everything. So, here we go. Dear Divas, so my husband recently came to me and told me he feels like he's a woman mm. on the inside and he loves being my man. But he also feels like be when he's all dressed up in drag, he is the most beautiful thing in the world. So I'm trying to be as supportive as possible because I want him slash her to be happy and to be able to love himself comfortably or herself. So we went shopping and I bought two large bags of clothes. We got some makeup and a day together. I just wonder if there's more I could do as far as the mental battle he's facing with wanting to be accepted by his family, his friends, and mm. dealing with his life the way he wants to be. Mm. I'm ready to drop this phone on the ground Ooh. after what I just read. That's, that's a lot. That's dropping a, a bomb. Topic. That's a good topic. A lot. A bomb. No, it's that's good bomb. advice. Talk and to us. Talk okay, to us. so... I actually have a cousin that is transgender and dealing with, you know, the acceptance of family and stuff like Absolutely. that. So that kind of like really hit close to home. Okay, awesome. Me personally, I think the best advice to give is to just love them unconditionally, right. support them, stay in their corner and be the best possible cheerleader that you have because you do not know the struggle that they deal with for that acceptance and that love and Sometimes you have to tell them, don't cry any more tears. Right. You just cry your last cry, right. pick yourself up, and you move forward because as long as you're happy within yourself, that's all that matters. The people are going to love you, people are going to hate you, but as long as you love yourself, that's all you can do. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. I mean, I guess it's, it's it, you know, I guess she could just love him, but I don't know. I could see if it was my brother or my cousin, or my husband. Pack your shit. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, so, did she know this before they got married? Was she accepting of it then? Right. So it's a lot of different elements in there You're that right. play yeah. a big part. You weigh those pros and cons. I thought it's cute. She took them shopping. I, I actually, honestly, <laughs> I agree with you. We need more. We need more people like that who mm -hmm. love and, and and don't they don't judge open people. Open-minded. Yes. They're yeah. open-minded. Yeah. What about you? Mm-hmm. Mm. I was gonna say you're a Pisces, so mm. that's why you're so supportive. I love that. Let's see what the cancer got. She's a say. cancer, so <laughs> she got an opinion, honey. <laughs> no, I I do agree. You know, you just have to love them. I am I'm really concerned of the mental issue mm -hmm. when it comes to something like that. Because yeah. it's so many demons that they're battling. And even her as being his his wife, like it's hard for her to kind of grasp and understand, but just imagine how it is for him. Mm -hmm. And that's so many demons, way. like, am I supposed to feel this way? Am I not supposed to feel this it's way? Like, is this normal? Like, that's what my concern is. And it, there's so many people now with the, the, the mental issues that are committing suicide. Mm -hmm. So being able to sit there and to go to your wife to mm -hmm. be open and that your wife had actually went to that extent to do those things, I speaks volumes to me. Absolutely. Yeah. That's awesome. Absolutely. See, cancers yeah. are nice, too. See, we nice. When, we when y'all want to be. Compact, right? <laughs> <laughs> what about uh, you, Tony? Uh, well, you know, we've both um, helped a lot of people in the in the transgender community and know people in the transgender community. And um, although I'm not technically sure if this 
Her husband would be considered transgender. I, I don't I don't I don't know. So he sounds uh, more like a drag. cross yeah. dresser or a cross dresser, but it still lies like, in kind of the same category. Yes, because yeah. the world sees us all the same. You know what yeah, I yeah. mean? So it, you yeah. know, that, and that is true. Society, that is true. you know what yeah. I mean? So, yeah. but but uh, but I do feel that it, you know if that if that's what works for them for their marriage and and they're happy, then then that's good. You know, uh, we, we've all grown up with a lot of expectations like, oh, well, marriage is supposed to be this, and, you know, the man does this, and the woman mm -hmm. does this, and it's like, and and needless to say, look at how many marriages end up in divorce. 52%. Uh, yeah, That's probably, uh, it's probably even more than, than that. So if these two people, you know, if this works for them and they're, and they're happy, then I say more power to them. Absolutely. Yes. So no, honestly, like that, that advice for, for Carol is, 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 is huge because she, she, I know her being in this situation, she's, she's a great person because she's, she's not making this about her. She understands this is not about me. She must be a Pisces. She must be a Pisces. <laughs> oh, this is yeah, not about yeah. me. <laughs> this is about him and his growth. Yeah. And, and you know how sometimes they say your best friend is, could be your soulmate. Mm -hmm. And maybe mm -hmm. that's what, that's his soulmate. And yeah. maybe they were just, yeah. they were meant to, you know, and, and, and just being so supportive like that, that's, that's, that's great. Um, that's the best thing that you could do for them. Yeah. Right. But if you want the honest truth, if I was her, Pack your bags. <laughs> you know Watch it, girls. Don't get us demonetized. Get your toothbrush. Don't get us demonetized. That, that, that's that cancer. Grab mm. your wigs and your panties and get out. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> no, no, no. I was, Carol, uh, uh, you I keep being the you. wonderful, awesome person that you are to your husband, and you will see that y'all relationship will grow and y'all yes. become even stronger yes. after this. So, absolutely. 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 But, um, as we're continuing, because I know we're running out of time, I want to get to something really important. Yes, girl. Um, one of our biggest things on this show is the queen of the night. The Let's get this started. Let's see who our queen of the night is tonight. Alrighty, so tonight we, we, we chose a very special guest, and actually she kind of speaks to, the, you know, the topics that we've been speaking to. She's fashionable, she loves the LG community, she supports us, she, you know, she's big in the music industry right now. Uh, huge. Tony, she's huge. Um, so, Tony, who are we giving it up for tonight? Tonight's Queen of the Night, Lizzo. Yes! yes. And uh, I, I was just reading, she's actually the first... African American woman in 2019 to hit number one on the Billboard chart, which I'm kind of like, why is she the? Why it's, it's September? Why is she only? Why is she the first one after all these months? Wait, that to me, seems wait, wait, crazy, wait. They, they must be classifying me as a man because I know I had a number one <laughs> on the Billboard. Y'all didn't hear about her. <laughs> no, we love you, we Liz. Love her. We love her. Our, our friend Frida Cox does a, an amazing. Oh. Uh, Juice number. Amazing. Oh, I Tanisha love that Thomas, number. Who I love. Yes. I love you, Tanisha Thomas. She does with the whole juice situation where uh, you ever see Bad Girls Club with Tanisha. Yes, girl, yes, Pop yes, off. Yes. Uh, Pop off, son. Uh, <laughs> she's like, she's like, she's like, um, so somebody put hot sauce in my juice. It's like she's running around. <laughs> oh, <laughs> the goodness. funniest drag number yes, I've seen. Yes, Frida I Cox. love it. You are a legend, Frida Cox. We love, we love you, Frida you. Cox. But um, I need to attend more drag shows, clearly. Yeah. Yeah. We got you. Clearly. Actually, now that you see, good thing that you say that because we're moving into announcements. <laughs> yes. Uh, this November, we're going to be having a repeat of our show yes. in the Hamptons. Going back to okay. the Hamptons. It's a dream. You. I don't Working sleep. Job. Tony, I've, I've already seen on Facebook, you're, uh, uh, you're like, day one, day two, yeah. day three, day This four. is my I'm fourth like, oh, day straight of, of, of doing goodness. drag, actually. Oh, I don't play. Uh, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, I now today. Keep up we don't play. Weekend. And now today. I need a whole day to recover. And can we talk about on what's coming up this Thursday, girl? This Thursday, a special announcement. My girl, Tony Homeperm, uh, she has been given her very own radio show. So she will be premiering this Thursday on the 19th. Yes. Uh, at 8 o'clock? 6.30. 6.30. I'm bugging. 
p.m. on Strong, Strong Island, Island Radio. Radio. So yes. give it up for Tony Homer. Yes. Yes. Talking Tony. Go ahead, Tony. Yes, my little interview show. <laughs> yeah, go ahead, honey. So. so I heard some really special guests might be coming on the show, so y'all stay tuned. Yes. Um, Really quickly before we go, like I said, November 9th, I will be hosting It's a Drag out in uh, A&M Southampton yes. with my girls. All my yes. girls will be yes. there with us. So we'll thank you so much for having me back. Of course. Before we go, tell the people a little bit about yourself really quickly. Where, where can they find you? Where can they find you? you? Oh, okay, on on okay. Instagram, Facebook, yes, wherever. Yes, yes. So fashionforpurpose.com is our website. We are actually casting for models right now. Uh, you can follow us. My application. <laughs> you can follow us okay. on Instagram. Uh, it's at fash number four purpose. And for Facebook, it's fashion for purpose. And what about you, Miss Leah? I'm just around. No, she said, she said no. <laughs> Don't follow me. She's a sidekick. Wherever you see me, yeah. she is not too far. And, and I that's like you and me, away. Olivia. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you that. Listen, it's it's been amazing having you both yes, on the show. Oh, thank thank you. I know yeah. we have so much coming up. We got some some a lot of pa uh, pageants, some fashion show, a lot of stuff going on. Yeah. Maybe Listen, we're collaborating on stuff. Absolutely. So. We do a lot of production. Um, we actually did New York Fashion Week. I, I time have of our lives. Time right. of our lives. Mm -hmm. They're usually in the back making sure everybody makeup done on time and getting out on the runway on time. So we do a lot of production but as be well. Be back next week but for the next episode of Diva Time. We will yes. be back. My name is Olivia London. I'm here with my beautiful co-host, Miss Tony Homer. Yes, y'all. Thank you so much for having <laughs> oh, me. You're so beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Such beautiful ladies. Yes. See Thank you all next week. Bye, bye. Thanks for having us. <laughs>